No! <laughs> that didn't start so well. <laughs> oh yeah, what up you guys? Welcome back to another one of these videos. My name is Lauri Koskinen and I'm a professional chocolate and a chocolate teacher. Today I want to teach you guys the tree club sequence. Okay? It's a very short, very nice tree club sequence. That's what it is. Um, you can use it as it is, or you can do, you can like take parts of it, you can break it into parts, you can do... Hey, Mita! <laughs> you, you can do like separate things with it, uh, you can add things to it, or you can just change, like use it as you want. Feel free to copy it any way you want, okay? Let me show you the sequence first. That's it. <laughs> um, I think it's very, very cool. And there's so many different ways of using it. And there's so many different things in it that you can use in different ways. So let me teach it to you step by step. We're gonna go fast, but just pause the video, uh, rewatch it, rewind, do that whole thing, okay? So the first thing is this. We need to learn that first. Uh, if you already know that, skip ahead, but yeah. So this is the first thing. What it is, it's a swing. So this is what we're gonna learn first, swing. Uh, we hold the club between our index finger and a middle finger, like this, okay? First you can hold with the thumb, but you need to remove the thumb after. Okay, so if you wanna hold it with the thumb, you can. So the body goes forward, okay? So you can just give it a little push or just hold it with the thumb. That goes forward, okay, body goes forward. And then you're gonna turn your palm forward. So when you go up, you need to turn your palm a little bit and then it drops down from the outside. And it's back in the front again, okay? So you turn your palm a little bit and you get it here. And then you practice this and eventually you wanna do it with a little bit of movement as possible, okay? That's what we need to learn first. The next thing would be throwing from it. So you have to control so you can throw from there. And you do it from the upward motion. You can try from the swing, but you're gonna learn, um, if you let go too fast, it's gonna go forward. If you let go too late, it's gonna go behind, okay? So learning that forward, uh, sorry, upward motion is very important here. But it's sort of like doing a slow throw, just the same way. You can guide it with your hand to go up. And eventually, just like you can learn to do this, you can learn to control that spin however you want, okay? One thing that helps a little bit is if you turn hand this way, so you have your finger, your index finger, is sort of like a control. So instead of throwing it like this, which you can do, if you just turn a little bit, so your finger is the one that is controlling, okay? But yeah, so learn the swing and then the throw. And the next thing, Swing and throw to the other hand. Okay, let's get more clubs. And we're back. <laughs> okay, so now that you learned the swing and the throw from there to the other hand, now we need to add another club. So, what we're gonna do here, you're gonna take the club, you're gonna hold it with your thumb. And I hold it center here because I think it's more firm. If you have it like this, it's very hard. If you hold it from the center, you have much more firm grip. Just hold it about in the center. Now you're gonna hold that. So this is why we didn't want our thumb touching that because we need to hold this club with our thumb. So that goes between your index finger and a middle finger, just like we did before. All right, so now we're gonna do the swing with this club in here. And it's exactly the same technique, only thing difference is we're gonna hold this club with our thumb. That's it. We're gonna do the swing, and then we're gonna try from the swing to throw. And try to keep this club as still as possible. So you see from the side, so when you go up, now this stays here. It's not completely still. You can see it moves a little bit because my hand turns. 
but it doesn't move like, like that. I don't do it like this. I like to keep that still. And I do it quite straight arm, okay? There's a couple of reasons why I want to do it straight arm. One, if I make a mistake, I don't want the club to hit my face. So if I have my hand like this, yeah, that can hit my face. That, is, that was the first reason why I started doing it like this. <laughs> so I wouldn't hit myself. But it also, it looks kind of nice when you have these different lines. But yeah, don't hit your face. That's the lesson here. Uh, so we do that, the swing and a throw, okay? And once we learn that, we're gonna add left hand single spin. Okay, it just throws single like this. And we're gonna do them together. Okay, and then the throw. That's it, that is our first. Okay, you got that? Now let's move on. The first move is this. Now we're gonna do swing, okay? And that is just, uh, you hold the club with the thumb, you can just push forward, turn your palm up, push forward, your palm turns up, you let go every other, uh, sorry, every finger except the thumb, and you just turn it back, and then you catch, okay? So it goes forward, forward like this, let go of your fingers, turn your palm forward again, just push it forward. But when there's speed, it goes very naturally, okay? So we're gonna do that and then in the slide. Spin and slide. So we just push it forward in a sense. I'm just gonna slide and hold it by the knob. Reason for that is we wanna do the penguin from the knob. So we're gonna slide it down, and I'm actually throwing it from this position. So I'm holding with my thumb and my index finger and middle finger. So slide it down, and at this point, not that down. <laughs> okay, so it's from here, and I'm gonna throw up. And it's gonna be a penguin. Uh, what you can do first, when you learn this, is not a shoulder throw, okay? So we're not gonna throw it, uh, like raising our shoulder and elbow. We're gonna try to keep our hand very steady, so it's like um, this penguin throw kind of thing, okay? Mm. One thing that you can do first is if you just, when you're raising it, if you cannot do it from here, like this, you can go a little bit to your left, like shift your weight towards the left, and now you can raise this arm, so you can get more air to it, okay? So instead of going, hitting your leg, you need to go a little bit outside. And instead of going from here to there, I'm just gonna shift my body. So the club stays in the same line. So it doesn't have to go there, okay? So it's just the same line. And I'm shifting my body a little bit out of the way. All right? Uh, one cool thing is like, if you don't let go until here, it's gonna be very short. It sort of like looks, um, almost like a swing that you just let go a little bit. And that is something that I really like, how it looks. And just when it's about to go, I'm gonna move everything up a bit to give it more air. So if I just let go, it will drop quite fast. But if I push forward and then let go, it will sort of like give it some air. Like that. I spin, let everything go. Lift it up in the air. And I like to do with my hand to show that it's empty. So instead of doing like this, I'm gonna to try to give it air and open my hand like this. I'm gonna open my fingers and turn my palm towards the audience. Swing, and you do that. Okay? Now once we've done that, so remember, swing, slide, penguin throw. So start from here, we did this, swing, slide, penguin throw. Okay, once we've done that, I'm gonna shift and turn my weight, sorry, I'm gonna like turn my body this way. And that usually means stepping with my right leg here. And now we're gonna do a back cross. And we're gonna do it from a multiplex, and it's just one back cross, okay? 
And it's very easy to do if you don't focus on the technique, because here we don't have to have a perfect technique. Because we're not doing sort of like a back crosses, we're just making one draw behind the back. And you can make it easier for you if you shift your weight. You're turning from left to right, you shift your weight, and you draw it then. You can even tilt your body a bit to make it a little bit easier. Um, good thing here is we already have our body in that kind of position. If we catch and we shift our weight like this, we're gonna do the back cross from here. So it's not like we're gonna be doing that, no. <laughs> so we have this, we're already tilted like this. So it sort of like uh, makes sense, okay? So just throw on there. And now we're gonna, let's continue. So now we're here. Bum, 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 ba -dum. This is gonna be flat front. So just a single spin like this, but I'm gonna go collect it like that. So I'm gonna throw with the left, I'm gonna turn and catch everything to the right. I like this hand, it goes a little bit more from the down. Okay, so I go down and then catch, because after catch, we're gonna turn. And I wanna turn like that, because then the movement continues. If I would do it like this, it doesn't look so good. So I want the movement to continue. So when I've done the back cross, this hand goes down as this goes up and I catch and then I turn like this. So I catch here, this hand goes down, this hand goes up. So the multiplex goes down with the right hand, left hand throws goes up and I catch everything from down here and I don't hit it. So don't do that, don't force it. Catch first and then start to move, okay? Your body is uh, leading the turn. Catch, just rises and then it goes down. So it sort of makes a, from this angle, catch, just makes a circle, okay? But it keeps everything in motion, it keeps it continuous. Now we're gonna do that. So what it is, first we need to draw a double to the other hand. And underneath that double, I'm gonna transfer one club to that hand. So we're gonna do five, one. Five and one. Okay, just draw a double and then catch both. If you wanna make this harder for yourself, uh, I like to do that sometimes, like in this case, we're gonna do the transfer behind the back. So I'm gonna throw the double a little bit higher than usual to give me more time, as you can see. Like this would be sort of like a normal. But now I'm throwing a little bit higher so I have more time to do that behind the back. Okay, just like this. So <laughs> we've done that. And now with this one, sorry, let me one. Yeah, oh, that was cool. <laughs> this move. So I did that move. So it's again, it's another penguin throw like we did at the beginning. Now we're gonna do it either normal, under the leg, or behind the back. If you're gonna do it um, normal, you can go straight like this, or you can uh, tilt your body a little bit so you don't hit your feet. If you're gonna go under the leg, make sure that you don't throw straight. You go a little bit cross, like, like diagonally. So when the club comes, it lands outside, okay? So if you go straight like this, it will hit you. But if you go diagonally, it will go outside of your body. Same thing with behind the back. You need to go diagonally, or is it like under the arm behind the back? <laughs> you need to go diagonally in, so that will happen, but from the side, Looks pretty good, okay? So if you wanna make it more harder for yourself. I like that, sorry, I like that under the leg. So once we do the double transfer, oh, sorry. Double transfer, I will bring my arm back and just bring it forward and do the throw, all right? So it's just this, transfer, bring it back, do the throw. Because there's the high throw in the air, you don't really see that up and it goes like that okay um <laughs> i don't know construction people going in and out so 
Yeah, that's not the final thing. But yeah, you can do it here as well, if you want. Let's go, bam, 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 bam. All right? Uh, after comes this, and this is the last thing. So what that is, it looks much more than it actually is. Left hand does that. That's all there is, single spin. And right hand is doing the swing with the throw, okay? So we're gonna go, it's the same swing as we did at the beginning, but now we're gonna add more to it. Plus I'm holding it with my thumb and index finger now mostly. So now the grip is different. I have a thumb here and my index finger and middle finger, okay? So we need to go, we're gonna go up. So, uh, so the body goes up and it goes outside. Now we're gonna go across to the other side and it goes up, we can go outside here and then it's back. Okay, so up here, up there. And you basically, once it goes on the outside of the arm, then you bring it to the other side. So it goes like that. This, and once it's here, you make it across again. So cross, cross, see? Cross, 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 cross. And then we're gonna add one more throw, spin and then throw it on the left hand, okay? So spin on the right, spin cross, spin on the right, into the throw. And now we're gonna learn it together with the left hand throw. Like we did at the beginning, it's gonna be very similar, like that, and then learn it to go on the other side. Now we need to be a little bit faster. Okay, so you wanna go a little bit faster and next you wanna be even faster. So the goal is to go, first you wanna go like that and then you spin a little bit faster and eventually you wanna get back here before you catch this. You throw together, bam, bam, okay, bam. And then we're gonna do the last spin in the throw. That's it. And you can do that in here. You can turn or you can just go, you know, keep on doing whatever you want. <laughs> but yeah, there is no um, rule with this. This is just the um, end of the sequence that I wanted to teach you. So you can do it any way you want. So let me show you the whole thing. You can see the continuous movement happening all the time. Like I said, there's not that much going on once you learn it, but there's always something going on. And then when there isn't anything going on, like in here, we keep the movement going on so it doesn't stop. That's how you get that flow feeling into it. But yeah, anyways, that's it. If you guys wanna see more stuff like this, I have my online chocolate course, which is, it's huge. It's like a huge database of chuckling tutorials. I have there much more and different, more advanced stuff, and more in-depth stuff than I have here in, chuckling, uh, here in YouTube. Like this YouTube is sort of like a peek into what's actually in the course. So there's way over 400 chuckling lessons and video tutorials like this. So definitely check that out. Uh, I put the link below, it's chucklingmastery.com. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.